Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you a UBE audio unit box explorer from Frederick Covest. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. And if you would like to participate to the giveaway, please do check inside the video description if winners have been announced or not. If they have not been announced, then you can participate to the, to the giveaway if you wish. And if you want to do that, just check the instruction inside the video description. Okay, so we are inside the AUM. AUB works as a standalone application, but also works with the keyboard as well, if you have it enabled. And in order to do that, you actually need to uh, go inside uh, your settings, find AUB like so, and ensure that the that AUB have access to the keyboard itself. Now let's go back inside AUM and let's create an audio channel. Let's click on the plus here and uh, to add an audio source. Normally the way you go about adding a plugin in audio unit, you, you click here where it says audio unit and then you start to scroll and find your audio unit which are categorized by developers. And when, when you found it, of course, you click on it. Now there's another way as well. You can go right at the top and you reveal a search here. In this case, then you can start to type, for example, a piano like so. And then it shows you there are two in my case, Grand Piano UV3, two and Pure Piano. Okay, now let's um, move back and here on the initial menu. And here you can again scroll all down to reveal the search at the top. And again, you can search in a similar way like so. Uh, the difference is that in this case, it will return also not only the audio unit instances like this one, but also the interrupt if it is available. Now, when the list is really long, it gets really difficult. And unless you really know what you're looking for and you know the abbreviation again, it can get really complex and difficult to find the audio unit that you like. So. A different way to do that, if you have enabled access to keyboard for a UBA, is to click on the search here to reveal the keyboard, then click and hold here where it, there is this symbol of the world, and now you can change the keyboard settings, and at the bottom you find a UBA. So click on it, and you find this nice new window. Now you can expand it like so, you can minimize it, or, well, more than minimizing, expanding it really. Here you find the F list of audio units, they can be effect or they can be instrument as well, right? You can find the name there. And if you click on it, you can see it appears over there and the search already return agonizer, right? If you click on this button here, it will show you also the link here for that particular application. You need to have that enabled to uh, show you the, uh, to enter the name of the application, like in this case. Now you can scroll down here to list um, all your audio units. You can click here and you can filter. So you can say, for example, show me only the FM. You can see it behind it. It, it just changed the list of uh, instrument which provide FM as synthesis. And of course you can clear the filter as well. You can choose this uh, die symbol to randomize um, the list, uh, um, a selection really of an audio unit, like in this case, segment. And then, of course, you can also have some additional help here if you click on the symbol here. Okay, it says AUBA keyboard extension. Okay, then here we have further category. You can show all the AUV3, the synth, the drum, the sampler, the generators, and also the MIDI. And of course, here you can minimize the keyboard works in similar way as you have your normal uh, keyboard. Um, yeah, and you can do the same also for effects. So for example, let's click uh, Cancel here and let's go to Insert and Effect and scroll down to reveal the search. Click on Search again, click on an Effect and now you can say Type Dials and you can say it has found Dials there. And then of course you can click on it and you load Dials. So that's one way to use it with access to the keyboard. Another way is to use it as a standalone. In this case, it will load, and when it loads, it scans for audio units. And when it finished, it goes to the screen. Here you can see it says um, uh, the name of um, a nickname here, which is some for more in my case. It tells me the 
uh, AUV free, which are currently loaded on my iPad. We are on the screen where you have your favorite here on the dashboard, or you can go also to the list of effects like so. And then of course you can click on one and it tells you more information like um, the group, uh, the effect category and effect failure, uh, sorry, feature. So in this case, the group is dynamic. The category is a saturated way shape or a bit crusher and the effect features as modulation, creative visualizer and metering. Now, if you click here on info, it just goes and access that particular uh, LU unit and uh, therefore you are inside the app store. Here you have a link um, to share the link to the app and also to share the badge, which you can save, for example, inside your photos. And here you can, of course, make that your favorite. So this is for effect, but of course you have the same for instrument here. And um, I forgot to say that again, here you can act on the filters as uh, I've shown you, for example, when you were uh, having access uh, um, to AUB through the keyboard. Okay, so you can apply filters there as well. And then of course you can also have a view of uh, a list view here, where again, you can type in a, a on one uh, audio unit. Uh, um, and then of course you see the information here, which again, you can make that a favorite. You can go to the info within the app store and share your link and your badge as well. And on the left hand side here, the audio units are categorized by developers. Okay, finally, you have here uh, some settings. Uh, at, the, uh, at this time, I don't have iCloud available, so it's telling me I should enable that, particularly if I want to submit uh, an audio unit, which I think is um, not there. Here you have your nickname. Here you can have you can do factory reset, and of course you can check your current data version. So this is quite nice. Um, as I mentioned, it helps you to organize things. So for example, let's see what I have as granular, and then it says sample with two. Flash spacecraft, really nice. And of course, I think it's in terms of database, it will get um, further and further updated by Fred as um, yeah, as time goes by. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction and tutorial on how to use AUB. And as always, see you next time. Bye.